Then let's do our second model. Um, here we have a skirt board all along the staircase. So we will be using all parts with uh, the skirt board shadow applied to it for this model. Um, what I still wanted to say, here we have an, our organization for each section. We have so these folders and then there's a note card which has the same uh, organization and there's some explanation about all the parts. So if there is something you need to know um, about the part, you can just look at the note card and all the specifications are explained there. This model begins with a turn start, which consists of a skirt board and some threads linked together. Okay, so let's go to steps. And here we have the turn start. Uh, in case of a turn start, the naming refers to where the skirt board is attached and not the turn. Um, so this is the left one. And we're going to snap it to the grid like this. And then we have a tree thread, tree thread, and a top end. And we're going to use the skirt board at shadow versions here, tree thread. Okay. Number two. And then the top end. And then here we have a, a landing part turning to the right and a, a landing end to start a new succession of steps. Let's go to landings. With skirt board turn to the right. Okay, turning to the right and turning to the left, they are quite similar, so you have to be careful which one you use, because there will be a small gap if you use the wrong one. Um, and then the landing end. Okay. And then what we have here, tree, tree, and a top end, same as what we had here. Okay like that and then we will have a straight landing that's going to a balcony corner and another straight and another balcony corner so let's just place a straight for now with skirt board because again for the length it's best to to see the correct length to place the banisters first Okay, let's do the banisters. Um, here we have a specific part made for the turn start. Um, banisters, starting parts. And this is a turn start. Uh, let's see, it's turn start one for the right, turning to the right. Turn start one right. And then we have three, three, and two threads, step parts, three. I don't think I can copy paste this. No, not really. Three, three, and then a two. Uh, 
drop Okay, and then we are going to turn. Um, that's one of the straight parts, turn 90. Followed by a rise. And then I suppose it will be the same, three, three, two, and a drop. Two, three, and three. Okay, and then what I have here, straights. This is six baluster, another one, and another one. Three times six baluster straights. Straight part, straight part, six baluster. Three times and then turning again three times. Another turn. And then one time and an end with one baluster. And with one baluster. Okay, now we can uh, starting to place our balcony corners and then we will know how far to stretch the straight. So let's go back to landings, balcony corner and here we have the version with the corner shadow. And it's this one. This is straight, and there needs another straight section in between here. Okay, and then uh, we have to place the skirt boards. So, for skirt boards, we have uh, straight parts. Uh, a straight that's meant to be resized in length and then an inner and an outer corner and then we have the step parts both for left and right sides of the steps so here we will use the one at the left of the steps um, this is a three thread a three thread and a two thread and that will be a top end a three thread And snap it in place like that. Yes. Next one. And then followed by two threads.
And then here we have the top end part. It's this one. To go from uh, steps to straight. A top end. And here we will have um, an inner corner. Okay, now here um, we can place a straight part to, uh, to fill this gap, but we can also use one of the extra parts. If you go look at skirt boards, extra parts. Here we have a top end landing corner. Um, because I've called them this way landing corner because we have here the landing corner. This is um, a, a top end part similar as this one, but with a straight part directly attached. So it saves uh, some on land impact. So we need a top end landing corner, the left to one. As you can see, it's similar as this part, but with a straight already attached. But this part, due to its specific length, is an exception and does not snap to the grid in length, so we have to push align it against one of its uh, neighboring parts, like this. Okay, and then here we will have a bottom end. Um, and we are going to do the same, but first I'm going to show the regular part. Bottom end is that one. Which is the lowest part on a set of skirt boards. Um, and here again, we can place um, a straight part, but again, at the extra, we have a bottom end landing corner part, which you can use instead. And which saves us on land impact. And here again, we will have to. Uh, you, oh, let's move this one first. Uh, use uh, push align to bring it in place, like that. So we made a corner. Here again, we will have to place a few. Let's see, a tree thread and a tree thread and another top end. Retreat. And here we're going to place a regular drop end. And then here we have an outer corner. And straight part. Outer corner. Bring it in place. And then we just have to place two straights to fill the gaps.